Well, early voting is underway, but one of our biggest primary races is getting a major shakeup. Yeah, Jonathan Gordon outside Yonkers City Hall tonight with more. Jonathan. Well, facing a trio of different scandals, Yonkers City Council President Mike Cater has done a pretty remarkable job keeping his reelection chances afloat. But a flip flop of endorsements in the last 24 hours may be breathing life into his top opponent just days before the primary. Talk about a political one two punch. On Wednesday night, the Yonkers Democratic Committee pulled its endorsement from City Council President Mike Cater after the committee's chairman says he received threatening text from Cater's campaign. The committee is now accusing him of voter intimidation and calling on the Westchester District Attorney to investigate. The DA declined to comment. And last month, the rest of the city council called on the city's inspector general to probe two complaints against Cater, one of a hostile work environment, the other of using his position to violate the city's ethics code. Yonkers Mayor Mike Spano is weighing in. If you can't get one person to stand up to you uh, on the entire city council, it says a little, it says something. And just hours after the Democrats ripped its endorsement from the incumbent, Spano threw his weight behind Cater's top challenger, Lakeisha Collins Bellamy. I was the underdog, and as of today, I'm, my campaign is building momentum. Cater is responding in a statement tonight, saying the establishment can play politics all they want. I will continue my work to expand affordable housing, keep our streets safe, improve quality of life for all residents, and help our city recover from the lasting impacts of the COVID pandemic. Cater also filed a lawsuit this week against the rest of the city council, attempting to stop the probe into the misconduct allegations against him. So Jonathan, do we know how many people already cast their ballots before tonight? Yeah, we asked for those numbers because uh, obviously it's a really interesting time to start moving endorsements around. We're looking at about 2% or so under 1000 people who are able to vote in this primary have done so according to the county board of elections. So there is still a huge chunk of people who could be swayed by today's announcements. But it is worth noting that when we asked the board of elections earlier this month where they thought the turnout rate would be, they thought maybe 10 to 20%, which is significantly lower on a uh, non presidential year. Back to you.